Guys, coming at you here with a Smith & Wesson 44 Magnum. And just so you can see that the gun is clear, cylinders, no round in the chamber, we're good. This is a 629-4, which means no pin barrel, no recessed cylinders. But it's still got the hammer mounted firing pin. It's still got that old cylinder latch, no keyhole here. And I just saw this and I had to have it. One, I'm a big old Dirty Harry fan, and yes, I am aware that he used the six and a half inch blued model 29, not the stainless 629, which I have, but there's only a couple of differences between his gun and mine. See, there's the hammer and the firing pin. I love it. Uh, first, first difference is his was probably a 29 no dash or a 29 dash one or dash two, something like that. And so he had the pin barrel, uh, the pin barrel and recessed cylinders. Um, his had a six and a half inch barrel. Mine only has a six inch, but minor detail. And... Later on, I'm not sure if this was the, the year they started using MIM parts, but this doesn't feel, these the hammer and trigger just certainly does not feel cheap. Uh, his model also had the uh, Smith & Wesson logo and brand right here in, on the uh, side plate instead of right here underneath the cylinder latch. Um, good story about this gun is uh, I bought this thing practically new. Our, the guy only fired, or the previous owner only fired a handful of 44 specials out of it before he got rid of it. He or she could have been a she. And uh, I cleaned it out real good when I got it. I could tell that he shot 44 specials because there was a little bit of residue just before the end of the cylinder. And. There was a little bit of residue in there and in there, but I cleaned it up real good, and I used ballast all to clean it up. <coughs> I'd actually like to thank Hickok45 for recommending ballast all and just kind of promoting it unofficially. Um, and I also want to give him a shout out for getting me into revolvers, him and uh, another guy on YouTube named BatJackJW. Uh, check out their channels. I'll put them in a in a link in the description below. And uh, I know they're I know Hickok forty five is very popular, but good thing is is the more views he gets, uh, the more he can donate to local charities in Tennessee, and that makes him a stand up guy in my book. But they both they both really love their revolvers. Hickok especially loves his forty fours. And Batjack JW, he just he's just a revolver holic like me. Um, he's got old Smiths, he's got old Colts, he's got some uh, other, you know, like other stuff like Cimarrons and Tauruses and Rock Islands and just if it if it's a wheel gun, he's probably got it. <laughs> um, and both of them really turned me on to 44s, so I'm gonna kind of turn you on to their channels it's up to you if you guys want to want to go to their channels and watch their videos and whatnot but they're pretty cool guys and they have some pretty cool stuff the other reason I bought this gun was because well Dirty Harry I'm a big old fan of Dirty Harry Callahan and his Mid and Western Model 29 so naturally I had to have one and real quick I want to Give you a comparison of how big this gun is compared to my full size 1911. All right, there's my 1911. I mean, that, and this has even got a freaking compensator on it. So, and I know for you 1911 purists, oh, take that compensator off. You fucked it up. I don't really give a shit. My 1911, not yours. And yes, it's a Rock Island. I really don't care. It's been a good gun for me. Hasn't had any issues. 
But look how big this son of a bitch is compared to compared to that. It just kind of it's even it's a lot heavier too than my 1911. But I cannot wait to take this thing out to the range. Anyway, I will see you guys later and uh, stay safe.